Multiple Western Mass News viewers have reached out to us after receiving higher than normal property tax bills tonight. Getting answers on why these bills have gone up significantly for Springfield residents. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live in studio with what she's learned. Paris. Chris, we've been talking about how crazy the housing market is right now, and unfortunately for Springfield residents, they are seeing the effects of the booming housing market while looking at their latest property tax bill. This is a big kick in the teeth, if you ask me. For 14 years, Lisa Delchinos has owned a home in the city of Springfield. This past New Year's Eve, she received her property tax bill in the mail. Um, I was pretty angry. According to Delchinos, her quarterly bill was $290 more than last quarter. Because of how the property taxes are handled in Springfield, that means her bill next year will be the same amount. That's $580 more a year. $100 a month. Who, who can afford that? Something's going to have to get cut. I, I don't know what, but, uh, you know, that, that's a lot of money to cough up every single month with everything else rising. After seeing her bill, Lisa reached out to Western Mass News, and she wasn't the only one to call our newser with questions. So we took these viewer questions to city officials to get answers. Patrick Greenhall is the chairman of the Board of Assessors for the City of Springfield. We asked him why residents' property tax bills are so high this quarter. For the city of Springfield, we did have about an average tax increase of $216 for the average uh, single family home in Springfield. The housing market has been extremely strong. Greenhall says the booming housing market is raising property values in the city and therefore increasing people's property taxes. He says in order to come up with a value for someone's home, they look at similar homes that were sold in the past year. And the city expected this increase. Greenhall says in order to offset the increase, the city decreased the residential tax rate. It was previously $18.90 per $1,000 of value. This year it's $18.82 per $1,000 of value, a reduction of $0.08. Cents. However, Dalcino says that change didn't make a big enough difference in her bill. That would have made a $15 difference in my bill. Now, Greenhall says the city also approved using city surplus funds to try and offset the cost of taxes. He says it was $2.5 million for this year, and it will be $2.5 million for next year as well. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.